Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to the weekend preview of, of course, the Predictor League, the Super Brew Predictor League, and the Fantasy Football League as well. And we've got to start looking at last week, a historic event. I believe it's the first time ever somebody has defended the Golden Cup. Well done to the real villain who has done back-to-back -back cups uh, and won last week as well. Um, so you can see they're 12 points, only half a point ahead of Kebrov. Uh, Gaz Monster was right up there as well. Uh, and then uh, quite a few of us struggled last week. Um, myself, chief amongst us, with only 6.5 points. It was obviously a very tough week. Um, but Gaz Monster, I mean, so Gaz Monster, but the real villain with three correct results, exact results. Um, that's a very well-earned uh, golden cap, I would imagine. If we look at the leaderboard overall... We are back to a point and a half difference between Parramatta Power and Kevrov. Once again, we find ourselves in a position where we could have a change of the lead for the first time um, all season, actually, uh, this weekend. The real villain and Ruja Sand, they're creeping up, though. They're only six points back. That's, you know, two exact results. When you put it like that, 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 that they're within striking distance, you'd have to say. Um, There's a bit of a gap then to Adam, Adam Riley and myself, Gaz Monster, and then we really start falling away into the relegation battle, I think. Um, but of course, everybody, there is still golden cap glory to play with or to play for. So make sure that you are still putting in your tips. Um, and you know, I can still be chased down. You want to be beating me. That's an absolute minimum. Let's have a look at the matches we have coming up this weekend. And we have, if we go to round 17 here, uh, Liverpool versus Watford. Um, that could be anything, couldn't it? You do wonder, a new manager at Watford, is it going to make a difference? With, uh, was it Pearson that came in, isn't it? Um, I, think Anf I think at Anfield it could be a baptism of fire. Uh, no, they always concede one, don't they? Let's go 5-1 for Liverpool in that one. Burnley versus Newcastle. Burnley's form has quietly fallen right away, hasn't it? Newcastle's been quite good recently. They didn't beat Villa, but, you know, that's nothing against them. Villa are a very good team at times. So, <laughs> hopefully not. Um... A part of me wants to say nil-nil. I think I think they would both take a point from that, wouldn't they? Burnley to stop the rot and Newcastle just to keep it going. The rot, you can't keep the rot going, but keep their form going. Chelsea versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth, another team that have just really fallen off a cliff. Um, Chelsea, European glory, would you call it midweek? I'm going to say two-nil. I think I think I think uh, Chelsea will will bounce back from their loss last week. Leicester versus Norwich. Leicester just look absolutely imperious right now, don't they? They were stunning, I thought, against Villa last week. Um, I'm going to say 3-0, but I could be more than that, to be honest. Sheffield United versus Aston Villa. This is absolutely huge for my boys. Sheffield United are a good team. Um, I just have a feeling that I don't think Villa's going to get there this week. We need to buck up our ideas, though, because we are right down in a relegation battle right now. Uh, Southampton versus West Ham. I think this has a draw written all over it too, doesn't it? Let's say 1-1. One, one. I think both teams would be happy with a point from that. Manchester United versus Everton. Big Duncan Ferguson. Can he do back-to-back -back wins? That would be something, wouldn't it? Um, I'm going to say probably not. I'm going to say 2-1. I think it'll be close. I'll say 2-1 there. Wolves versus Spurs. Now, at the time of recording, uh, we, haven't, we haven't had the... Um, What's it called? Europa League midweek. I think there's still games this week. I think it's still running in uh, coordination with the Champions League, isn't it? I'm going to say, I think a draw is probably... Wolves are a good team, aren't they? I really think... Uh, I think they're a good team. I... But Mourinho... I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go Spurs. I'm going to go Spurs 2-1. Arsenal versus Manchester City. I don't think Manchester City is going to have too many problems with this. So they have struggled lately in the league a little bit, haven't they? I'm going to say, there's probably a goal in it for Arsenal, but I think City are probably too good for them. Crystal Palace versus Brighton, the rivalry that makes no sense to anybody. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 1-0 Palace. I think it'll be tight, but I think Palace maybe just will have enough to get past Brighton. The Brighton are a good team, and two Australians in the team as well, which always helps, um, I suppose. Only three people have put their tips in. Parramatta Power has, Kebrov, not yet, mate. We need to see your tips. We, we don't need to see them, but we need to see you getting those tips. You could go top of the table this week, um, as could Real Villain and Rujistan. So everybody, make sure you are getting these tips in. Let's have a quick update of the Fantasy League, and we will see my brief hope of uh, getting top has completely co collapsed away. Vault GFC, 71 points last game week. That is epic. Um, that certainly shut me up. That's almost back to 100 points now, that gap. The Cobra Chickens have moved up into second place ahead of myself. Jokers FC are a little ways back, and an average squad. Decent week for them, actually. 
Um, as I always say, Aaron is very much a baseball fan, and he is doing much better at fantasy football than I will do in fantasy baseball when we kick that off next uh, next baseball season. So there we go. Have a look at my team this week. And I have made a change, and I've taken a gamble. I have taken out uh, Chris Woods of Burnley, bought in Rashford of Man United. He's scoring some goals, so I thought I'd bring him in. Just you know, just as he hits top four when he starts to tail off, I will react and bring him in. So that's what we've done. Um, I'm actually what I've also I've done the bench boost this week because I'm looking at my team, and the place I sort of picked the team that I wanted. I looked at the bench. I mean, Pope at home to Newcastle with Burnley. He's got to be a chance of a clean sheet. McGinn and Mings at you know, Villa at Sheffield United, there's, they've got to be chances themselves. And Tarkovsky, again, another Burnley defender. So I just thought, let's do it. This is the week. This is the week I do my bench boost. And if I don't have a good week, then I think I can probably kiss goodbye um, to any chance I have of winning the uh, the Fantasy League. But that's my team for the week. We'll kick Schmeichel in goal against Norwich, uh, our Turkish friend that I can't pronounce as a defender, along with Alexander-Arnold and Lundstrom. Uh, Cantwell, Ali, Sterling, and Prowse in midfield. Abraham, Barty as captain. It's, you've just got to keep him as captain right now. He's scoring for fun against everybody. And Rashford as my starting level. Like I say, the fact we have a bench boost means everybody will count. So, it's a big week for me in fantasy football. I will be praying to the fantasy football gods. But there we go. That is the weekend preview. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, and like I say, if you have, I should say too, if you haven't yet joined the Predictor League, I'm getting new subscribers all the time. And thank you to anybody who's watching this who is a new subscriber. Uh, if you want to join, there's a link in the description. Like I keep saying, you may not be able to win overall, but Golden Cup glory, it's, it's, it means a lot around here. So there's still that to play for. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. Enjoy your weekend of football. Take care.